Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to use Animoto uh, in a positive way that you can actually use in the classroom. Uh, first of all, you go to Animoto.com, and down here in the bottom left, uh, they have different things you can sign up for. Um, I went to the education account. It asks for you to fill out some stuff. Uh, basically, it wants to know where your website is. It wants to know what your school email address is. Within two weeks, I got a reply back saying that I had the educational account, which uh, upgrades it to where I can... Um, have more than the 30 second clip um, but all I really need is the 30 second clip for the purposes of, of the classroom um, so I have these different choices right here to choose from uh, the pro you guys have to upgrade and pay for those um, I'm going to create a hook to introduce parallel lines uh, to my students right here I went and just hit Google uh, parallel lines went through images and I pulled up a couple that were good examples that I want to actually just tie in real quick um, what this is going to create is just a real quick, simple um, introduction to, to uh, parallel lines. So now I have the ability to upload, and I'm just going to go through and find all my pictures. I saved them on my desktop, so I'm just going to upload one after another. Um, I can go back in later on and add uh, the text that I want to. So I'm going to spend a second now, and you need, only need to have... Um, maybe 10 pictures at the most. You can put in some words as well, which will will help uh, take up some space. Alright, so I've uploaded all my pictures. It takes maybe a second or two for the pictures to upload. If you want to add video, it takes a little bit longer for it to obviously upload. Now I'm going to make a, a couple text ones, and I'm just going to type in uh, parallel lines. And you can have some subtitles. That's all I'm going to really do is type in that one. And then you can go to music. It has a bank of uh, different kinds of music you can select from, or you can upload from your computer. Um, just pick out a genre, and then type in what you want. Um, the kids, it lets you select, and you can actually listen to what, what, this, what the songs sound like. Uh, it plays a little 30 second clip, and then you can decide whether you want to put that in your, your video or not. Um, and the, the, the music is what's going to determine. Please don't keep me. The music is going to determine the sequence and the order in which the, the picture is going to transition. It syncs it all together. So I put that in there. I'm going to go with regular speed. I want a short clip, I don't want a full length clip. And all I do is hit continue, give it a title. We're going to call it Parallel Lines. And I can create a video and walk away. It's going to actually do the whole thing, and it'll tell me that it'll email me when, when it's finished. I can, I can stay here and wait, or I can, it'll email me when I'm done. Uh, the kids can do this if they want to do um, a, a book report type video where they're just giving you a quick presentation, summarization, if you will, of a book. Um, we have examples of the students. Uh, using it for history class where they can do a summarization of a battle. Um, so those are just a few ways you guys can use Animoto and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And for those that you want to know, if you want to know does it actually work, well here's my videos. This was the first one that I made and it was for my geometry class. Um, did it 16 days ago. It's had 135 views and that's a class of 30. Uh, the kids are actually sharing it on Facebook. They've bought into it they're the ones that are liking it and sharing it. Now what would happen if they were to actually create it themselves?